I'm Sarah Nicholson, the director of the South Coast Writers' Centre, and this is Bibliotherapy. In this episode, Claire Zorn, a multi-award winning writer of novels for young adults, offers us her reading recommendation. The book I'm recommending for COVID times is A Confederacy of Dunces by John Edward Toole. And uh, it is about Ignatius J. Riley, uh, who is flatulent, eloquent, and pretty much unemployable, as it says on the back. Uh, it is the most hilarious book I've ever read. Ignatius is one of the most fantastic characters uh, I think ever created. I'd never heard of this book, uh, but it obviously is very good because it's a Penguin classic. Uh, and it won the Pulitzer in 1981. I loved the humour in this book. I loved the character of Ignatius. Um, he is hilarious and kind of vulgar and uh, very eloquent and verbose. And I've never, ever encountered a character like him before. Uh, the closest would probably be Napoleon Dynamite, uh, which is another character I adore. And it's got amazing dialogue. Uh, it's just hilarious. I don't think I've ever laughed as much uh, as I did when I was reading this book. Ignatius has a job as a hot dog vendor uh, and his boss is Mr. Clyde. Ignatius has just returned from his shift uh, selling hot dogs with his hot dog cart in New Orleans and he's having an argument with Mr. Clyde. Now shut up, Mr. Clyde screamed, waving his fork menacingly. Let's go over your receipts for today. How much did you sell? Oh my God, Ignatius sighed. I knew that we'd get to that sooner or later. The two haggled over the profits for several minutes. Ignatius had actually spent the morning sitting at Eads Plaza, watching the harbour traffic and jotting down some notes about the history of shipping and Marco Polo. Between notes, he had contemplated means of destroying Myrna Minkoff, his nemesis, but had reached no satisfactory conclusion. His most promising scheme had involved getting a book on munitions from the library constructing a bomb and mailing it in plain paper to Myrna. Then he remembered that his library card had been revoked. I hope you really enjoy it as much as I did. <laughs>